Hey, this is Notzer, and we're in the hood again. Now, the reason we're in the hood, and the reason you're getting this, is because it's a great game, absolutely fantastically hilarious game, but also, my internet was screwing up at the end of my stream, and it was all choppy. I want people to be able to see this game, because it is a great game. Now, this game is sort of born out of a comment, an off-handed comment made by iChase. He is a fellow North American community contributor, and I appreciate him immensely. We share a lot of information behind the scenes. Community contributors, anytime you work with people, you should have a good relationship with them. And I do have a good relationship with all those guys. So this is just for fun. But he said, he suggested that the only thing the hood would be good at is being a torpedo. Well, let's put it to a test, shall we? Let's see how well she performs as a torpedo. Now, initially taken torpedoes. No, that's not very nice. I love to push into the objective. Oh crap, the entire enemy is pushing this flank. We rotate back because that's the only way we could survive. We take damage, of course, but we're still alive. At least we're still alive. We have a chance. You can't win if you're dead, you know? If you ain't first, you're last. It's really that simple. So we've got to survive to get first. If we're dead, we can't get first. So why even bother? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Now, the enemy team is enjoying their time. I really appreciate all you guys. I, I really do. It means the world to me that you enjoy my content. And it brings joy to you. Hey, not, sir. You're helping me out, man. You made me a better player. All that. You made yourself a better player by seeking out knowledge. Now, maybe I'm providing the knowledge. Maybe someone else will provide the knowledge. But by seeking out knowledge, you're the one, not me, who is actually responsible for your success and your improvement. So, it's all on you. I just share what, my, uh, what I see in-game, and I tell you what I think. So, we've got this enemy, Frenchie. Shoot at the Frenchie. And we citadel him from the front. Almost kill him. I'm sure he's really loving the ship right now. And if my teammates can take him out, then he's, he's obviously... Oh, the French, they're just so good. Oh, I love taking so much damage. I know, I know. That's, that's the French, right? Everyone who's played the French will get an idea. Yeah, these suckers, they take a lot of damage. And uh, speaking of taking a lot of damage, the Leander is also a low-armored cruiser, and we punish it as well. Of course, it is British. You're punishing your own kind, Hood. No mercy. You know, he's on the enemy team. He's red. He needs to be dead. It's, it's that simple. And as he's sitting out of smoke, he's clearly going to be the primary target until he's dead. Teammates, though, might kill him off. Of course, I unload my shells. And any second now, we should expect him to die with me not getting any credit. Oh, we actually did one overpin, nothing more. And he's still alive somehow. But that's not, that's not the thing that we need to worry about. We've got an enemy Soviet destroyer that came way too close. Don't you know that you're supposed to be a long-range gunnery? This is far too close. He's almost in torpedo range, and that was my real fear, is that he would get close. Ooh, okay. 6,000? That, that's not a bad salvo. N yeah, that's my real fear. I don't want to take the salvo. Oh, God. The torpedoes. Teammates doing a great job. This is what you dream of. Teammates doing good damage to a, to a destroyer, not allowing him to hide. And, oh, we're going to try... Are you? Are we going to try this, not, sir? Yeah, we're going to try teammate, though, takes out the target, even in the smoke, so my salvo is worthless. Enemy team has no presence on the east, only in the west. Whenever you're up against the primary flank of the enemy, you really want to compensate. You want to be overly cautious, let, let's say it like that, because they could decide to just drive straight at you and take you out. The hood, thankfully, is an extremely quick battleship. So it should be able to move back, move forward, 
and maintain the ideal scenario, whatever that, that scenario might be. Some people like to stay at range. I am not one of those people. I would prefer to get in there and fight it out. You know, who's hard enough? Who's man enough? Who's woman enough? Who can take them on? I don't have any fear, at least in a video game, because I know if I fail, I'll just queue in another one. So we got an enemy, Congo, showing a little bit too much side. It looks like he actually will be pulling an answer in about three, two, one. And oh, how embarrassing. This poor, poor Congo has committed one of the, the most sinful acts that you can in World of Warships. He has run aground in front of his enemy. And we could decide to go after the Nagato. I've got AP loaded though, fire at the Congo. I'm really going for the superstructure. I don't want to hit the guns. If I hit the guns, they're going to shatter. And we actually did pretty good damage there. I was very surprised. In fact, it was so shocking to me, I regretted changing to HE because I just felt like, oh, he's angled. I'm not really going to get the shot I want. Most of it's going to go into the guns and uh, 7,000 is pretty good. Can't really ask for better. Can't be picky, right? So we've got HE loaded, but I honestly don't want HE loaded anymore. So I'm going to switch right back to AP. Awkward. <laughs> it's just the way the game works, right? And speaking of the way the game works, Notzer, you are overextended. You are going into three enemy battleships. Yeah? So what? We've got to put the torpedo to the test, right? And in the stream, I was going, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to kill the Congo. We're going to kill the Nagato. And then we're going to ram the actual the other battleship. That's what we're going to do. And you're going, no, you're not. Who, who makes a plan like that? There's three ships right in front of you, announcer. How are you going to kill the Congo, kill the Nagato, and then ram the Koenig before the game ends? Um... I'm going to shoot the Congo. I'm going to pre-plan, pre-aim, starboard side. We're going to joust the Nagato. We are going to citadel him. You gotta believe this, by the way. You gotta just build yourself up, okay? It makes sense. We are going to citadel the Nagato. And that's that. We're gonna go and ram the Koenig, who's sitting on the side. And, ah, uh, he got the front of the bow, front of the bow, that's a good placement of a shot. That is the weak point, he's got big caliber. Now, slightly angled, it's an advantage for us, and he is showing a ton, so come on. You know, I can't really complain about 10,000, but I, I wanted a citadel. And now we're in trouble. We are showing a ton of side to him. I'm trying to gain back the angle. Ugh, didn't really do it. As well as I would like. Secondaries are going off between each other. Ooh, we're still alive somehow. Can we set it down? Please, we need to kill him before he gets his other salvo off. Get him. Oh, we can do 15,000, but it's not enough. Kill him. Kill him, guys. I'm dead if he gets the salvo off. Come on, get him. Get him. Oh, my God. 1,127, and we need to survive for it. Five seconds before a heal comes up. Please, Koenig. Please don't kill us, Koenig. Oh, it's so close. Heal, 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 heal. Okay. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. And of course, he sets us on fire. Oh, funny. I didn't plan to survive this. <laughs> and you, you all know what's coming. You know what's coming. We're going to turn a great big battleship into a torpedo and ram this guy to death. And it's gonna be glorious because he can't get away. And I'm sure he's just so sorry that he was in that position. But I'm not, I'm not sorry he was in that position. I'm very happy. It worked out as we planned. Just as we planned. We got two kills, 132,000 points of damage done. A couple secondaries, citadels, fire, Flood, we caused the flood. How many battleships can say they do that? It is a torpedo battleship. 1,801 base XP. We crushed everyone. We crushed everyone. That Belfast did a good job, but I don't know where he was. Was he on the other flank or was he near the island? 
either way, it was a great game. I, <laughs> I, uh, I had way too much fun in this particular game. Yeah, you know, some of the hood is weak, but honestly, I feel pretty tanky. Two million, I tanked two million potential damage was shot at us. That's more than that Turpets game. So yeah, very fun ship to play for me. It's fun because people underestimate it right now, so we'll see if they change their ways. Maybe, maybe they won't, I don't know. Either way, it was, it was fun to get the, the back and forth, because they're like, oh, we're gonna come for you, Hood. Yeah, revenge, uh, you better come for it, you know, all that stuff, and I was like, ah, I'll get you. Everyone, appreciate you checking this out. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.